Hey guys, it's Mr. Cleaver Hook here. I'm doing a review of The Amazing Spider-Man number 644 and it's, it's bad. It's, it's, it's terrible. <laughs> it was written by Mark Wade, and well, he can do better than this. He has done better than this. And this is just a joke. And it's really a shame because it also has Paul as Ask Tekka. The worries name is he has his in the artwork. And the arc's terrible. And he can do better than that as well. If you look at his stuff on Batman vs. Daredevil, well, that's amazing artwork. But the stuff in here is just <clears throat> it's just amateurish. It's just sketchy and bad. I saw a webcomic on the internet that had artwork as bad as this. I wouldn't read it. So the fact that I'm paying for Spider Man, you'd think they would, you know, hire a decent artist or at least make them put some bloody effort in it. I mean, it's a bit insulting. You've got one of Marvel's flagship franchises here. They're one of their biggest characters. And they've just treated them like utter crap for the last, well, almost a year now. I mean, even the, I mean, the last story arc that they had running there um, was one moment in time. And it was a sort of a sequel closing off to Brand New Day, One More Day storyline. And, alright, the story was bad, but it had good artwork. And it had its heart in the right place. This is just, just bad. It's just a waste. They just randomly threw words together, and it's a shame because the the entire team could do so so much better than what they've actually done. I mean, it's just ridiculous. This story arc has actually really bugged me because it's such a brilliant idea. Loads of Spider-Man villains, big ones like the Rhino and the Vulture and Doctor Octopus, teaming up with like minor ones that I've never heard of, like Freak and well, pretty much Freak and oh, and Tombstone did as well. I forgot about him. Tombstone's awesome and Shocker and one of the things that makes Spider-Man brilliant is his rogues, and it's such a shame to see them being wasted. Another problem with this comic is that um, this entire story arc of this issue. They put characters on the cover that haven't, that don't show up in the issue or the story. I mean, they've got Norman Osborn here, he's not in it. They had Venom on the first issue of the story. I can add Venom. Neither of them are in it. It's, it's kind of insulting. I mean, imagine, imagine you're a wee kid. You're in a comic shop and you see, you see, like, the comic and it's like, Oh my god, Venom's in this. I love Venom. Oh wait, he's not in this. Ah, that, that's disappointing. Finding. But, oh well. Another thing that bothered me was a um, reference to Spider Man needing to fill up his web shooters. But I was pretty sure there was a storyline a while ago where he got, like, web shooting powers. I don't know if they undid that or something, but he still had some of his powers in it. I don't know. They really. They, they need to proofread this stuff. And because I haven't read Spider Man in a while, um. I don't know what's going on with the Vulture's face. I'm not going to blame the comic for that. I mean, that's not his fault. Even Dr. Oxpus had a new design, and that was pretty strange. I, mean, I don't know what that's about, but I'm all up for new things, new ideas. So, I'm not going to complain about that. On the plus side for this uh, comic as a whole, this, this, the main story was, you know, awful. It was bad. Don't buy it. But Stan Lee, um, he wrote, you know, the... You know, the, the Spidey Sundays. You know, it's uh, usually two pages worth of comic. And that was um, entertaining. It's always entertaining, that. It is, like, the highlight of the Amazing Spider Man. It has been for a while now. I mean, I know this hasn't actually been a review of the comic in where me actually ranting about Spider Man. But it just it really annoys me. I mean, right, you take, say, Invincible, right? That's an independent comic book written by the one guy. He's been writing it since oh, 2003 now. Um, Robert Kirkman, amazing writer. Um, he's allowed an off day. He's allowed to hear a break. He's allowed to maybe hear a bad issue now and again. Because they're doing it on his own. That's his job. That's the only thing he... Oh, he does other comics. But you know what I mean. That's, that's his baby. I mean, he can pretty much just do whatever he wants. But Spider-Man... Spider-Man's a... A trademark of one of the biggest bloody superheroes in the world. I think like Spider-Man, Superman, and Batman, most recognisable comic book characters in the world, and they're giving us crap like this. I mean, 
it's just a waste. And it's really, I'm really ashamed of Mark Lane. He has done so much better in the past, and he can do so much better. Just disappointing. But, I don't know. You may disagree, you might think it's the best thing since sliced bread. I don't. I think it's awful. But who knows. Then, it's just, I'm going to keep this rant up because I'm enjoying it. Um, I love Spider-Man. I've always loved Spider-Man from the 90s cartoon show onwards. It was just amazing. And it's just a shame to see it being abused like this. I mean, thankfully in November there's a new creative team and they look like they've got some really, really good ideas and I'm looking forward to that. But, my God, I mean, Jesus. I don't know. So, it's, um, if you disagree with me, send a reply or post in the comment section and I will ignore you. But, it is interesting to see other people's views and opinions on the matter, so let me see what you think. Um, personally for me, Amazing Spider-Man 644 is bad. Don't buy any of the act. Just, just wait until the new stuff starts with the Hobgoblin. Because Hobgoblin is awesome. But for now, that's it for me. Um, yeah, don't, don't buy it. Goodbye.